We all love Adventure Time, right? Yeah, boy! Then join me, Bomb Chop, as I aim for the Platinum Trophy for Adventure Time Pirates of the Enchiridion. Now, admittingly, I've never watched Adventure Time. <coughs> or have I played any of her Adventure Time games. <coughs> so, if you think I should watch all 13 seasons or not, hit the like button, subscribe buttons, and leave a comment down below. So the game begins with our heroes Jake, Finn and the legendary Bimo all chilling and gazing up at the stars before calling it a night. When Jake and Finn awake the next morning, the world of Ooh is flooded and no one else is anywhere to be seen. They conveniently find a boat which will be our party's main form of transport throughout the game. Jake and Finn think all the additional water has something to do with the Ice King, Simon. So they head to the Ice Kingdom in order to see what's going on. Once we arrive at the Ice Kingdom, and because for the first time ever I was semi-prepared coming into this Platinum journey, I jumped into the ocean 10 times in order to earn our first trophy. Jake and Finn then decide it's time to interrogate the Ice King, to find out exactly what has happened, as he seems rather tight-lipped. Based off of Finn and Jake's interactions with one another, this will give you hints as to which way you need to approach the interrogation. And for successfully doing the interrogation, you get the trophy, Bad Cop. First thing we need to do is find your crown, Ice King. From here, we jump back onto the boat and head towards Candy Kingdom, following information given to us from the Ice King. We pick up some bits and pieces from the out of the ocean before being ambushed by some weird looking banana pirates. This is our first taste of battle and the game walks us through the basics. Normal attacks, item management, blocking and skill attacks. It's not the most complex, but it's not bad either. After a couple of minutes of to and fro, we emerge victorious and earn the trophy, Shiver Me Timbers. A couple of minutes later, while just outside the Candy Kingdom, we pick up our 25th item out of the ocean to earn the trophy, Snagged It. We then enter Candy Kingdom and begin searching for Princess Bubblegum, but the kingdom is on high alert for any potential pirates and there are banana guards absolutely everywhere, which we end up fighting quite a lot. We begin breaking anything and everything we can in order to earn some money. And for smashing our 50th destructible, we get the trophy smashed up. We then receive our first side mission, just a simple fetch quest, and when completed, we get another trophy. Helping time. Now, there is one missable trophy in this game and it's part of the reason as to why I was collecting as much gold as possible earlier. The trophy is to defeat an enemy that is of a higher level than your party. And as I was gearing up, I went to the shop and brought my first item, which netted me the trophy, Fresh Produce. And then, I took on this higher level enemy, and while I was in battle, I managed to inflict two status effects on the enemy, which got me the trophy, This Is Bunk. Before then getting my ass spanked all across the floor. Back to the drawing board, and I begin smashing more destructibles for yet more money, and got another trophy for breaking things. This time for breaking 250, we got the Super Smash Up trophy. Because I'm a sucker for punishment, we go straight back to that stronger enemy and try again. Jake falls in battle, and for using a muffin to revive him back to 25% health, we get the trophy, Muffin Man. As expected, we end up getting destroyed yet again, so I begin taking on some of the small fry, in order to try and level up as high as I can, while still being under the level of the strong enemy. After a few battles, we defeat our 50th enemy, and get the trophy, Algebraic. After slaying numerous small fry, 
I eventually found myself strong enough to take on that strong enemy once more. This time the battle was pretty one sided despite still being a lower level. After numerous special attacks and with my now much stronger attack power I finally beat the higher leveled enemy and got the one potentially missable trophy, Mathematical. Stay down, you ding -dongs. With that trophy out the way, it was all about continuing on with the story. So we proceed further into Candy Kingdom, where we begin interrogating Colonel Candycorn to find out the whereabouts of Princess Bubblegum. The Colonel eventually lets us through and we come across our first pirate outpost. Imagine an eagle point from Assassin's Creed. For activating this, we get the trophy, Raise the Flag. We then meet Marceline who agrees to join our party and tells us that Princess Bubblegum was kidnapped by pirates and taken to the Dark Forest. We hop back onto our boat, now equipped with a cannon, and set sail. On the way to the Dark Forest, we end up smashing 10 floating destructibles which earns us the trophy, Floating Smash Up. We then dock at Dark Forest and begin battling all sorts of new enemies as we make our way towards our next objective. We find Princess Bubblegum who is locked up and have to find a key in order to release her. Here we have our first boss fight which is against Fern. Not sure exactly who this guy is exactly but he kind of looks like Finn but green. With a couple of movesets and a few minions by his side we eventually defeat Fern which nets us the next trophy, Grass Cutter. Princess Bubblegum tells us that she's fixed the Ice King's crown because somebody had altered the power crystal within it. We take the crown back to the Ice King and then take the princess back to the Candy Kingdom. This is when we learn that the whereabouts of both Fern, who had slipped away after our battle, and Bemo are. Before doing this, I stopped off at a couple of random islands, made some progress towards side missions and broke open a number of locked chests. Then, for opening our 15th locked treasure chest, I got the trophy, Dosh Ahoy. Rockin'. We then head back to the Dark Forest as that is where the greatest character of the show, Bemo, has been spotted. Bemo has been captured and we have to solve out a pretty simple puzzle in order to save him. Once saved, this little legend joins our party and we head on our way. While still in the Dark Forest, Using Bemo's hack ability, we unlock a gate for the trophy, Science Stuff. And then, I experienced my first ever trophy glitch. I found and activated another pirate outpost, and even though I ended up activating at least three more throughout the story, the game believed that this was the last one needed. So I got the trophy, a vast ye matey. The party then learns of Candy Kingdom being under attack by the Mother Varmint, so we head there straight away. This battle was quite simple, and here I managed to tick off three more trophies. First off was using Bemo's Analyze skill, which got me the trophy, Spill Your Guts. Then, using the small fry that the boss kept spawning in, I managed to overkill four of them for the trophy, Quadrilateral. And then finally, for defeating the Mother Varmint and saving Candy Kingdom, I got the trophy, The Bigger They Are. Too easy. With Candy Kingdom now safe, the party is given directions on how to get to the Fire Kingdom, where Fern was last seen, and to speak with the Fire Princess. Due to my excessive sailing around and checking every nook and cranny earlier on in the game, this was the last dock needed for the trophy, Explorer of Ooh. We speak with a fire princess who tells us that the core has suffered some water damage and that she isn't feeling too great as a result. She asks us to block the valves and then go into the underground chamber 
where the core is kept to check. Before doing this however, I lit all of the lamps outside for the trophy light them up. The party then goes down into the core and have to fight this massive fire giant with 10k HP. I was slightly worried even with Finn's best attack being a nice move as the damage output was rather low. As it happens, every so often the fire giant would turn its back on us and expose a weak point which resulted in some much higher damage outputs being achieved. After a few minutes of wailing on the fire giant, he was successfully defeated and we got the trophy, cool it. I win. With the fire giant defeated, the princess then asks us to seek the help of her cousin Torcho, as they're the only person with the ability to fire up the fire core. Before we do that, I used this time to tick off some trophies and complete some side quests as I knew we were getting close to the end of the story. We headed back to the dark forest and found a snail that was hiding for the trophy found him. Then I solved a small puzzle which rewarded me with a treasure chest and the trophy flaming goodness. And then, for releasing all of the prisoners in the cells inside the Dark Forest, free in total, I got the trophy, Hero Time. The next trophy I unlocked was for completing one of the specific side missions. Scattered around the world of Ooh were ten penguins, and I had to pick them up and take them back to the boat before delivering them to a small island. There's actually a bug that exists where this island doesn't spawn in, but thankfully this wasn't the case for me. And once I delivered the 10th penguin, I got the trophy, now stay put. We go back and speak with Torcho, who tasks us with collecting some small fire cores. Once collected, we head back to the main fire core and Torcho does their magic, and all is well again within the fire kingdom. The party then decides it's time to go back to the Ice Kingdom to see if the Ice King has found anything out. But before we head there, we finish off our last side mission and earn ourselves the trophy, Super Helper. With the Platinum Trophy in sight, we then decide to head back to the Ice Kingdom, where the Ice King is still none the wiser at what's actually gone on. We are then interrupted by Uncle Gumbold, who reveals that everything was his doing and he had it all planned out from start to finish and intended on using Princess Bubblegum as the scapegoat. Of course, nobody ever suspected or blamed her. Battle commences and to be honest, considering this is the final boss, it wasn't too difficult in the slightest. Once Uncle Gumbold was defeated, we received two trophies, one for winning the fight and then another for BMO reaching level 10. The party then finds out about a plug in the middle of the ocean where we can drain all of the flood water and Ooh will return to normal. Before the party heads towards the plug, I did some final grinding to get level 10 on the remaining three party members. So, trophies for each, first Jake, then Finn, and finally, Marceline. So, all that was left was to pull the plug, and in doing so, we got the last trophy for completing the story, and, of course, that beautiful platinum trophy. Whoop whoop! So with the Platinum Trophy in the bag, all that's left is to finish the video. And to put it frankly, if you've made it this far, then you're an absolute diamond. Please consider leaving a like, hitting that subscribe button, and let me know how much I suck down below. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to check out my other videos on the channel.